Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. We're sampling another distinct style of beer for the first time. The roots of this refreshment are in Poland, but this iteration was brewed in Bavaria. How a Polish style of beer ended up brewed there is a story that begins with Mr. Markus Lona, who got his start brewing in 2008 at Braukon, a brewing goods factory in Truchtlaking. Eventually, his operation outgrew the capacity available to him, and in 2016, he set up shop about four kilometers northwest near the shores of the Klosterze. To date, his renamed Kamba Brewery has crafted 250 distinct refreshments, from hoppy and strong imperial IPAs to more traditional styles of Central Europe, such as their take on Gretze. Borrowing the name from a western Polish town, the style of beer called Grodziskie in Polish and Gretze in German could have easily been forgotten had it not been for stubborn holdouts and craft brewers who have put in their research. So much about it makes it something of an outlier. For one thing, many iterations, including this one, are made entirely from malted wheat. More specifically, malted wheat smoked with oak wood. The brew is tame in alcohol content, coming in at just 3.5% by volume. Besides wheat and smoke, the brewers hop this historical refreshment with Tetnang, grown in the neighboring German state of Baden-Württemberg. These hops raise the IBU measure to an even 20, providing for bitterness between Hefeweizen and Pilsner. This Bavarian take on a Polish style pours a pale gold, but instead of sweet malt or bitter hops, the most forward feature is that smoky character imparted by the oak. On the tongue, that smokiness is present and accounted for, but not suffocating. This makes Kambes Grezer a welcome introduction to this style, especially for those that want to broaden their horizons but may feel slightly apprehensive venturing outside the familiar. Finally, a dry finish nicely rounds off this light but smoky piece of bottled history. This brew is smoky, so smoked food would be more than appropriate. Sometimes called a Polish champagne, I'm going to venture that any style compared to wine would pair beautifully with cheeses. I have two recommendations. First, get yourself a wedge of smoked gouda. Rather than trying to one-up the other, the beer and cheese will instead complement each other. Take a sip, and then reach for a thin slice of that sweet and creamy cheese. Repeat for as long as you have beer in your glass. Alternatively, if you want something saltier, trade up for a braided checho. This cheese with roots in the Caucasus Mountains may be the ultimate bar snack. Salty enough to keep you going back for another brew, and smoky enough to stand up against even the most aggressively dried wheat malt put into a grodziskia. Thank you kindly for watching. Regional styles such as grodziskia may not be the most publicized refreshments, but it's worth celebrating the preservation of lesser known brews that might have otherwise fallen by the wayside. To the brewers and the beer geeks who keep historical brews alive, Zanas.